Hello, hello, hello. My name is Brian G. Murphy. I'm an activist, educator, and certified relationship coach, and I help guys like myself build and sustain relationships that are fun and fulfilling. Today, I am doing something I've never done before, my first ever Q&A video. i uh, super excited to get to that. If you have a question that you would like answered in a future video, head on over to briangerald.com slash hello to ask it. Uh, so without further ado, here is the question. This guy that I am dating and I are in an open relationship and I'm struggling with the anxiety of it. He's extremely honest and very reassuring that all of his encounters are just sex. However, I can't help but feel anxious. I have a constant fear that someone will be better looking, funnier, more appealing, etc., and that he'll be more into someone. Maybe it's jealousy? I'm not sure as I've never been in an open relationship before, but he has, and he's been he's been extremely understanding and patient with my anxiety, but I don't want to always be anxious about it. Do you have any tips on how to overcome jealousy slash anxiety when in an open relationship? Oh my god, <laughs> yes, uh, I do. This is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I come to it one from personal experience and also from working with friends and clients who have been in similar situations. Um, my boy, Both of my boyfriends and I um, have sort of been in open relationships for the first time with each other. With my most recent boyfriend, Matt, um, this is also his first time being in an open relationship, whereas I've been in one for a number of years before that, and so we're sort of charting the same territory together that this person asking the question is. So I totally get it. So I have a few tips that will help you uh, navigate this question. The first is to check out uh, this book. It's called Attached, The New Science of Adult Attachment and How It Can Help You Find and Keep Love. And the reason that I recommend this book is that you talked about being anxious uh, or in your relationship. And this book is all about um, attachment styles and how those inform our adult relationships, our romantic relationships. Um, anxious attachment, secure attachment, avoidant attachment, uh, things like that. It explains what those is, where it comes from, and how those impact our relationships. And so if you know that you're anxious in your relationships, this is gonna be a really super helpful first step in figuring, identifying that, identifying some unhelpful patterns that come along with your anxiety in your relationships and ways, figuring out ways in which your partners, especially if they're secure in their relationships, can help you feel more secure and less anxious. This is gonna be super helpful for you no matter what relationship you're in, who you're in, whether it's an open relationship or a monogamous relationship in the future. This book is like written like many relationship books are, sort of like with monogamy in mind. They don't talk about or address open relationships or polyamory or other forms of non-monogamy, but I still think it'll be helpful. It's been super helpful. I read it a few years ago. I actually just finished rereading it like two weeks ago. Highly, highly recommend for folks that are anxious in their relationships. My next tip is another book, in case you couldn't tell, I'm big into books, and that is uh, Nonviolent Communication, A Language of Life by Marshall B. Rosenberg, who is a PhD. I will put a link to this book and attached in the description down below. The particular part about so this is about how to like have healthy, solutions focused, non judgmental communication. And what I think will be particularly helpful for you in the nonviolent communication framework is figuring out what your needs are. That's sort of like step three in the nonviolent communication uh, framework, but I think that'll be helpful for you. And then if you can figure out what those needs are, then you can ask your partner or other folks in your life to help you get those needs met. And specifically around the sort of anxiety that you're feeling in this relationship. I've made some videos about nonviolent communication. I will put um, a link to a playlist of all of those videos down below. There's four parts to them. You can dive um, into them and explore them. Video number three on your identifying your needs is gonna be crucial. Uh, if you wanna go even deeper, as you can see, there's a whole book about it. I think that'll be very helpful for you because like anxiety and jealousy or insecurity in a relationship usually is a result of some sort of need that's not being met. A need for stability, safety, comfort, belonging, security, stability, any number of things. Uh, and so 
Uh, I, I made a video a few years ago about how jealousy can actually be a helpful feeling. I will put a link to that down below also. Um, that sort of like when you're feeling these uncomfortable feelings, they can clue you into some needs of yours that aren't being met. And so then if you can like dive beneath that and figure out like what is informing that anxiety or that insecurity or that jealousy, um, that will help you sort of bolster and support your relationship so it's ultimately even stronger and more fulfilling. And so um, your jealousy, your anxiety, your insecurity can actually be a sort of a gift uh, to your relationship and help you take it to an even stronger, more secure place. So don't feel bad about how you're feeling. Um, lots of folks feel anxious and insecure in relationships, myself most definitely included. And then my third tip for you, if you're feeling anxious and insecure in a relationship or maybe jealous, is to figure out if an open relationship is right for you in the end. Now, just because you feel anxious or insecure or jealous in an open relationship, I don't think that necessarily means that it's not right for you. Those are feelings that come up in all sorts of relationships. I know lots of my friends are in monogamous relationships and they still feel insecure sometimes or anxious or jealous. And of course, people who are in monogamous relationships get left for someone all the time. You know, um, you were worried that someone better looking, funnier, more appealing, etc., will, will come along. And that can be the case even in a monogamous relationship. So I think for me, remembering that sort of monogamy offers this idea of security and stability, but it doesn't always actually deliver on that promise uh, as helpful. And so um, an open relationship might seem scarier or like there's just like more opportunities for your partner to leave you. But for me, it's been actually something that's helped me feel more secure because uh, I don't have to worry like, is my partner like secretly in love with a coworker? Is he conducting a secret affair? Is he harboring feelings for someone else? Like what's going on? Is he like just at the breaking point and get, get, sort of getting ready to leave me? Because I know exactly like what he's up to, that he's going on dates who he's seeing. Um, oftentimes I like meet um, the folks that both of my boyfriends have, have dated or been in relationships with. And so knowing those other people are out there and like knowing exactly what's going on has helped me feel more secure rather than more insecure. So just because you're feeling these feelings doesn't necessarily mean an open relationship is not right for you. But uh, just because everyone feels these ways doesn't mean an open relationship is right for you. There might be other reasons why an open relationship isn't right for you. So I would um, spend some time thinking it through that. Is this something that I want and feels good for me? Um, watch that video. You can also check out the ethical slot that'll help you think through that as well. I think that open relationships can be really helpful for folks and uh, they seem scary because they're taboo. We don't talk about them and we have all these sort of like myths about marriage and monogamy that sort of are wrapped up in it that get in the way of people even considering an open relationship for themselves. So definitely don't run away from the idea of an open relationship just because you're feeling uncomfortable. But also at the end of the day, it might be that either an open relationship isn't right for you or the type of open relationship that your boyfriend wants it isn't sort of compatible with the type of open relationship or polyamorous relationship that would be right for you. And that's okay, sometimes uh, they just, you know, relationships don't line up. But I think that between um, working through some of your um, anxiousness around your relationship, figuring out what your needs are, and then just having honest communications with your boyfriend about uh, sort of how you can feel secure, how you can get your needs met, and how you can sort of do life together in a way that feels good for you uh, will hopefully um, take you one step further in the right direction. So that is all for today. Um, if you would like more resources about how to have a fun, filling, sexy, exciting relationship, um, subscribe to the subscribe button down below for new videos every Wednesday afternoon, and I will see you then. Bye for now.